I'm going to talk now with a popular local author who is also the 2012 Key West Mystery Fest short story winner. Now, Rusty just released his latest book entitled Insanity. This is based on real life events in a small town in California where a number of residents started engaging in bizarre behavior. Rusty has all the details on insanity for us this morning along with much more. Rusty, it's a pleasure having you on the show. I'm a fan. Thank you very much, Jenna. I <laughs> appreciate it. Now, Thank Rusty, you for having me. Yeah, it's great having you. And Rusty, I've been reading up on you, and one of the things that struck my attention mm -hmm. immediately was that you used to practice law in Boston for over 20 years, mm -hmm. but then mm -hmm. decided to quit all that, mm -hmm. move to Key West. That's correct. What yes. triggered it? Oh, it's really been a lifelong ambition of mine to write, and you know, I majored in creative writing in college, and oh, the, the life takes over, you know, and I raised two beautiful children and um, in the Boston area and practiced law and pursued my career, but at some point, I did get divorced. Um, it was time for me to start pursuing what I really wanted, what my passion was, and my passion has always been writing. So you are happy with this decision? Oh, absolutely. It was totally my choice. Okay. And so when you came down to Key West, did you publish your f very first book? Yes. I, I had written uh, two of them beforehand, but I had never gotten around to publishing them. I was concentrating more on the art of writing and, mm -hmm. and completing a novel. It's, it's a difficult process. And uh, I had never done a full novel before, and so I really wanted to make sure I could do it and do it successfully. Mm -hmm. And so I actually had two in the tank, as they say. Mm -hmm. And when I finally finished my third one, I said, OK, it's time to get these out there and mm -hmm. see what happens. And winning the uh, Mystery Fest Writers Contest, Short Story Contest, kind of spurred me on a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, so finally got them done. And uh, I'm now working on a fourth. It's called The Eye. And I've been doing that for probably about six to eight months now. Okay. And hope to have it finished by June. Okay, so that's coming up. That's coming up. <laughs> You've only got a couple more months, so yeah. I look forward to reading Good. it. Well, I'm almost at the process review now, which is the most difficult and arduous process. So mm -hmm. um, it's it's daunting to say the least, but but we'll get it done. Okay, let's talk about Insanity, your, okay. your latest book, Rusty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What all can we expect in Insanity? Well, um, you see, I was I, I, I pick up ideas from uh, the press, the media. Things come to me, and all of a sudden, something grabs me, and I said. I've got to look into that. Mm -hmm. And this particular, it happened in a small town in California, Tracy, California. I don't call it that. And it is a fictional account of everything that went on there. But it just amazed me that in a small town like this, so many people could begin engaging this aberrant behavior mm -hmm. of, of weird sorts. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what could have caused that? And uh, one of my early creative writing teachers, I remember him so well, said to all of us, said, look, you know, you can't have superficial characters. You've got to delve down into the, the Freudian depths of the characters and the personality. So I start doing that and looking to what could have caused this. And I created kind of a fictional reason for what may have prompted it. But um, So I think it's, uh, it's also kind of a mystery thriller at the same time. But it does get very psychological. Um, so I think what you can expect is a well-written book with lots of cool twists and turns. Uh, fascinating, in-depth uh, study of people's personalities and character, um, giving a little Freudian bent. And uh, I think uh, you, you'll enjoy it. Everyone so far has said they really loved it. Yeah, it sounds like something that everybody should enjoy, Rusty. I, it's, you know, it's <laughs> nice. It's, it's, if, you, if you want kind of a nice little easy romance novel, it's probably not for you. Right. But if you want something right. with a little more meat to it, mm -hmm. I think this is for you. Okay. Now, are all of your books kind of this style, Rusty? Yes. I, I call them psycho thrillers. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, maybe I'm giving myself too much credit. But uh, again, I try to really delve down into the interior depths of the human psyche and still write a good, entertaining mystery novel around it. Um, so I think you'll find the same thing. A suicide takes place entirely here in Key West. Uh, I wrote it when I first came down here in 2007, or started in 2007. And uh, besides being, a, I think, a nice mystery thriller, it also gets into the concept of, you know, why would anyone commit suicide and, and what's going through their brains, et cetera. So it always adds that psychological element to it. Great. Now, Rusty, would you say that you learned anything or took anything with you from your years in law to your new writing career? Oh, oh definitely. See, I, I, I don't think I could be where I am now without going through life, without a career, especially in law, where you meet all kinds of fascinating people and raising kids and uh, being married for a long period of time. I don't think I'd be where I am now and can write 
as well as I do now without having all that prior life experience. My first book, The Subway Killer, is loosely based on a, a gentleman, I, I say use that term loosely, uh, that I represented as a public defender. And it's a story I always wanted to, to uh, write because he was such a fascinating but manipulative character. And so I cast it in a more fictional uh, light. Um, but I think it's, it's really interesting. It's about a young public defender who is a little bit gullible and a little bit naive, and he is assigned to represent this guy as a public defender. And the gentleman's accused of several uh, murderers uh, picking up uh, co-eds on the subway. And, but he's also a pimp and has a stable of beautiful young women um, who uh, absolutely have total allegiance to him. Um, and so the young lawyer is kind of manipulated, beguiled uh, by sexual favors into doing things that he otherwise would not have done. Hmm. Sounds very thrilling. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a good one. <laughs> well, Rusty, thank you for being on this morning, mm -hmm. and I'm sure we're going to be hearing much more from you. Hopefully, our viewers out there can pick up some of your latest books, especially Insanity. Yes, okay. <laughs> All right, That's Rusty, I'll have you back on when your new book gets released. Thank you, Jen. Thank really you. appreciate it. Okay. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages.